Software Assurance is a maintenance program basically from Microsoft. You might know it also from different vendors. Microsoft calls it an offering, provides new version rights and other benefits for products as further described in the product terms. The product terms is basically a website where Microsoft lists all the product specific terms and conditions for any volume licensing contract. So either an enterprise agreement or uh, MCA or CSP or you name it. They cover different terms and conditions for, for all these products on their own specific product pages. So the product terms would have an entry, for instance, for SQL Server. It would describe the basic terms and conditions for using SQL Server, but also it would have an additional entry for any software assurance related benefits that you might get for using that service. There's also a lot of general benefits that software assurance offers, and we will go into this a little bit more deeply in the coming slides. But basically, if you look at software assurance, you can buy this for your licenses in certain Microsoft contracts. We've listed and called out on this slide a few of the contracts where this is of interest. If you see horizontal access, you see the different contract types. So open license has been discontinued, but you might still have an active one or not. Open value, non-organization wide, open value, organization wide and subscription, select, select plus, Microsoft product services agreement or the enterprise and the enterprise subscription agreement. I've listed the sizes as well. So typical company sizes for the different programs, how you can purchase software assurance. So for certain programs, this is optional, like open license, select plus or MPSA. But for the other contracts like open value and the enterprise agreement, this is a mandatory inclusion. So if you buy licenses through these programs, open value and or the enterprise agreement, you have to purchase software assurance with that. Now, there's a lot of different items in software assurance. These are called out here. You see the benefits by agreement. So in, there's a couple of general benefits, new version rights, which is very important for a lot of Microsoft customers where they allow you to use newer versions that Microsoft might release for a product. So for instance, if you buy Windows Server with Software Assurance in 2012 and you have continuously every year over year have been paying your Software Assurance and you have the right to use the latest version. So right now, 2021, for instance, you could use that product, 2022, I'm sorry, and you could use that product version, no questions asked, because you have been continuing your software assurance payments. So this is one of the main benefits of software assurance and what a lot of companies use software assurance for and want to continue software assurance for. It also allows for spread payments. So in your enterprise agreement, you can spread out your payments year over year. And an additional benefit that you have in a certain contracts when you purchase software assurance is that you get a step up license purchasing right. And that's a difficult one, but basically means that if you consider, for instance, SQL Server Standard and SQL Server Enterprise, those are different editions of the same product. With a step up license, you could move from a lower level product, so SQL Server Standard, to a higher level product, SQL Server Enterprise. You would pay the difference between the two and you can so called level up your edition by paying that step up license charge. There's other things around the desktop deployment, like home use program, the Microsoft desktop optimization pack, which will be discontinued. Windows to go rights, which will also be discontinued, I believe. And the Windows 10 or 11 enterprise channel, uh, the right to deploy long-term servicing channel releases for, for Windows Server. For server deployment, there's a lot of software assurance benefits, like the same semi you know, channel releases. They made a little change to it right now, which means there's uh, only one channel and it's not semi-annual channel anymore. Disaster de discovery rights, temporary right to run a backup instance of eligible server software. You can use fill over servers, or you can use, you have the right to run a server software in a passive server in anticipation of a fill over event. So power goes out and you have a secondary environment. You can quickly spin that up, but it needs to be passive. You can use Power BI report server if you have software assurance, machine learning server, the option to use or access the Office Online server. And you can keep going with this. And there's a lot of different things that you can benefit from with Software Assurance. Support and training, uh, training vouchers and planning services have been discontinued. It used to be very valuable to a lot of uh, organizations, 
especially organizations that also signed up to uh, Microsoft services like Premiere. But they have discontinued these, so they they can quite a bit of value out of the software assurance as well, unfortunately. 24-7 problem resolution support. Uh, yeah, usually this is now solved in for in your unified support contract. And finally, on the virtualization front, there are some options here that you can leverage, like the virtualization right for Windows Desktop, the Windows Virtual Desktop Access uh, right that you get when you have Windows operating system with software assurance. If you have Office with software assurance, you get Office Roam use rights which is the right to use Office Project or Physio, depending on where you have software assurance on, on third-party devices away from the Office. So that was the, the way to license is for your uh, people at home. You have a thing called license mobility across server farms, which is quite useful because Microsoft has this rule where you are not allowed to move your licenses within 90 days. So we assign them to a different server, for instance. And with a software assurance, you get to do that as uh, often as you want. So it allows you to reassign between on-premise servers more frequently than those 90 days. And finally, very interesting here as well, unlimited virtualization, right? So if you have SQL Server with software assurance and uh, SQL Server Enterprise with software assurance, you can use an unlimited amount of virtual machines for that uh, physical machine. Now, if you look at cloud, there's a lot of software assurance benefits as well, like the license mobility through software assurance is a benefit where you get to use your current licenses and move them to like a hoster or, or another third party or even Azure. So you have SQL Server with software assurance, you can take that machine and put it on an Azure VM and don't need to relicense anything or even buy that database within Azure, you can just move it. It does require an administration. Azure Hybrid Benefit for Windows Server and SQL Server requires software assurance. So you can reduce cost in your Azure environment by using the licenses that you have with software assurance. Extended use rights for RDS user cows where you can bring them into the Azure Cloud and many other different benefits that leverage your journey to the cloud.